Javelin, a shoulder-held anti-tank weapon that shoots heat-seeking rockets hurtling towards targets up to 4 kilometers, 2.5 miles, it can control by a portable unit that doesn't look much different from a Vitru game console but can send a mid-long projectile straight through the side or top of an armored tank. The very presence of the American-made weapons causes panic among Russian troops, the Ukrainian military claims, and it is about to get 2,000 more of them. Javelin missiles are among the items promised to Ukraine by the U.S. and a new $800 million, 608.3 million pounds, military assistance package announced by President Joe Biden on Wednesday. Other armaments include drones that can be turned into flying bombs and anti-aircraft weapons that can shoot helicopters from the sky. But will these shipments help Ukraine overcome Russia's more numerous and better equipped invasion force? What will the U.S. send to Ukraine? The new U.S. aid for Ukraine includes a wide range of military equipment, ranging from 25,000 sets each of body armor and helmets to rifles and grenade launchers, thousands of other anti-tank weapons and more than 20 M rounds of ammunition. Besides Javelin missiles, the most powerful weapons include 800 Stinger anti-aircraft systems, once famously used to shoot down Soviet planes in Afghanistan. The U.S. also plans to ship 100 tactical unmanned aerial system small drones which are often hand-launched and small enough to fit into rucksacks. Soldiers can use them to scope out the battlefield or, in some cases, to attack, essentially creating flying bombs that can be flown into targets from a distance. Javelin is the one anti-tank weapon Putin truly takes, and Ukraine keeps buying need to reach out and touch an enemy tank and send it to an early grave. Look no further than the Javelin anti-armor system. This is one of the best anti-tank missiles in the world. The U.S. transferred a large number of Javelin launchers and missiles to Kiev over the last three years, but will that be enough to stop the Russians from a potential armored invasion of Ukraine? How does the Javelin system work? America's Javelin FGM-148 is a force multiplier for mounted and dismounted infantry. The Javelin is portable, reusable, and shoulder-fired. It works like this. The gunner finds a tank or armored vehicle in day or night with the command launch unit. This sends an infrared picture to the seeker system. There are several imaging modes, including thermal viewing, for a lock on target. Then the missile is clear to launch. Javelin is deadly against a wide array of targets. From here it gets even more interesting. The first motor puts the munition 5 to 10 yards away from the launcher. Then the main propellant kicks in. The missile flies upward at a steep angle and then can come down directly on the weak part of a tank the top of the turret. This is what makes the anti-armor capability so great. In direct attack mode, against walls, bunkers, and emplacements, the missile still goes up at first, but at a gentle angle, then it swoops down to destroy the target. Shoot and scoot. Javelin is a fire and forget system, meaning after launch there is no other aiming needed from the operator. This is a great advantage for soldiers and marines. The launcher team can eliminate a tank, then can take cover or scoot to another safe location while the missile is arcing toward its target and sight in yet another blast. This means the enemy has no idea where the missile is coming from. The javelin can also be mounted on an infantry fighting vehicle. A loaded javelin launcher weighs only 49 pounds. It has a top range of 2.5 miles. The Javelin was used at least 5,000 times during the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. Do the Ukrainians have enough Javelins to stop the Russians? The Javelin is so effective that other countries want it badly, especially Ukraine, which is facing an estimated 94,000 Russian troops on its border. There are at least 1,100 Russian tanks in that massive force. Last month Moscow sent another battalion of T-80U tanks. The Ukrainians decided to load up on javelins, but they don't have enough of the anti-tank systems. They are expensive at $126,000 a launcher. In 2018, the Ukrainians bought 210 missiles and 37 launchers. Then they purchased 150 missiles and 10 launchers in 2019. They have reportedly already used these a handful of times, according to a November 2021 report. The U.S. is trying to keep up with demand. The Russians are clearly aware of the Javelin, but will they be deterred? 
The massive numbers of tanks and armored personnel carriers deployed to the north and east of Ukraine have worried Kiev and military and intelligence leaders have called for javelins and other weapon systems. In September, the United States answered, announcing a $60 million military aid package with more javelin systems included. in the shortlist is TPT. Do you remember how to do that? H or ATDP. Yeah, the barrel is going yeah. to 9 o'clock. Yeah. That's your target. 